I want people to walk away with three general areas. One, the land and natural resource aspect of the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act. Two, uh, what the substance of ANILCA, the Alaska National Interest Land Conservation Act, is. There's been a lot of talk about that law, so just focus on what it's really all about. And then what's called Section 14C of the Claims Act, which was a very strange provision that applied only to village corporations and required them when they got land from the federal government under the Claims Act, they had to give some of that land back to four different categories of land users. So to focus on on, on those. In, in terms of the ANCSA itself, uh, the the most important things that I want to touch on is the contrast between the uh, traditional Alaska Native view of land use and the ANCSA concept of land ownership, how and why the ANCSA uh, came to be, and, and generally how the ANCSA is organized and how it works, and then how uh, ANCSA is applied in day-to-day -day land and resource management. As far as ANILCA goes, what I'm going to focus on is what its purpose was, um, what and what the law actually did, the areas that it really focused on. And then under 14C, um, what that section means uh, and a process for village corporations to complete that process, different strategies and approaches to the 14C process, and then specifics about deeds and title that the corporate, the village corporation has to give back to different organizations, and then ways of keeping out of trouble, because 14C is fraught with a lot of problems and advice as to how to keep out of trouble. So that's what the workshop in 12 hours is going to focus on.